Welcome to another belated episode of the Back Catalogue Podcast. This is a podcast where why, we... Why is this belated? Because this is from two weeks ago, bro. Oh, the the episode. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't cut me off in the middle of my... Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> this is a podcast where to we... another episode. Dude, I'll... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch off the camera <laughs> if you keep doing that. I love that I looked at the time being like, you know, that's 48 seconds that we, we can't get back. <laughs> oh, man. We're here. This is the podcast where we, and by we I mean me, Apo, my co-host slash co-founder Vincent, we dive into Disney Plus streaming service. We tell you, the listener and the viewer, what is worth it and what is not from a couple of weeks ago. Because we are doing season one, episode four of What If. What if Doctor Strange lost his heart instead of his hands? Which is hilarious to me. His heart. In lo- Honestly, when <laughs> I heard that, I thought Dormammu just did the did the Indiana Jones. <laughs> yeah. Scrubbed his heart, clean out his chest. Yeah. I, oh, I, bro, I got your heart. When I saw that, I was well, thinking. I'm Sorcerer Supreme now. When I thought, saw that, I was thinking like, he gets into the car accident, right? <laughs> Where he loses his hands usually. Like he breaks all his, his fingers and whatnot. But instead they're like, we just couldn't put your heart back in. <laughs> you got you got about 10 minutes. And he's like, oh my God, I've got to get, I've got to, get to wherever he has to go to. I've got to get to Tibet. <laughs> and he's just running through Tibet like, dude, I've got to get somewhere. Oh, yes. He's like uh, Jason Statham in Crank. <laughs> yeah. He's just got to have adrenaline all the time. Imagine that as an episode. It's just oh. Crank, but with Doctor Strange. And he just has to do adrenaline. Kevin, dance. Kevin, what are you doing? Bro, also, that would be the best. Also, tune in to like the other episode that's coming out this week, if not already out, in which we make a prediction on something that has already come out that we have not seen. We write episode five of What If. So yeah. Tune in for that. But Vincent, we're going to get into this episode of What If, and we're going to talk about whether or not this was the best episode so far. Okay? I think it was. I also think it was. So the, the, the story is, for those who haven't watched, for those who are you know, still under the assumption that Doctor Strange is just walking around with no heart, <laughs> it's not that he loses his heart, it's that he, he's going to the, the bowl that he was going to in the original Doctor Strange movie and his partner goes with him as well, Rachel McAdams' very own. I forgot her character's name, but Rachel McAdams' yeah, very know. own. Did In the movie, he goes there by himself. He does. He's riding solo, shout out to Jason Derulo. <laughs> But in this one, he's only, you know, there's infinite possibilities and all of them have her in it. Yes, that's that's exactly right. Yeah. And the watcher, he's watching, but he's also talking. He's talking in this episode. Right. His, his mum said, just watch. Don't look, <laughs> don't touch, nothing. Don't say anything, just watch. He, says, he's, he's getting timeouts. Yeah, oh, dude. He's getting, he's getting his, his toys confiscated. He's getting his little shards of time <laughs> confiscated. <laughs> You know Mom, I wanted to watch that reality. No. Nah. You know what's the funniest thing about Jason Derulo riding solo? What? Is that if that was in a movie and like you go to like, you know, the behind the scenes and the director's like, yeah, we, we wanted to put Jason Derulo riding solo in, in this scene because he in fact was riding solo, meaning that he was by himself. <laughs> <laughs> and and as like, you can see, the curtains were blue. Because <laughs> he's sad, bro. He's sad. Everyone's sad in this in this scene. Jason Derulo is not sad because he's getting that. He's getting that royalty money. He's you know? getting that royalty money. He's riding solo, but he's, his bank account ain't riding solo. No, he's got lots of friends. Shout out Jason because I don't know what he's doing right now, but I think he's big on TikTok these days. Is he? I think he's big on TikTok. He did that light. You know, I'm eating corn with a with you know it's attached to a um a drill. Oh my god, my teeth are gone. But I think they were fake teeth. I think they were prosthetic teeth. He, he did that with Will Smith. I think didn't he do the Will Smith was playing golf and he swung back and he hit Jason Derulo and his teeth were gone. <laughs> Must have been fake teeth. Or maybe his teeth had just knocked out and now he's just doing that's, teeth, yeah. teeth pranks. That's true. If your teeth got knocked out, you'd be doing teeth pranks. So that's your that's your yeah. stick now. He's going up, you know, there's someone in, in he's, he's roaming in the LA region. <laughs> yeah. You know, wine country. He's riding solo. He's riding solo. <laughs> he's riding solo. And some kids come up to, oh, Jason, big fan. Big fan, can we have a photo? And he takes a photo, and then you look at the photo. The kid looks at the photo <laughs> after. Man's got no teeth. <laughs> yeah, dude. That, that. And then Jason Derulo will be laughing because he'll be far away enough that the kid won't be able to say like, "Jason Derulo, your teeth." <laughs> your teeth. 
He'll just have to post it on Instagram. Being yeah. like, yeah, and every photo he takes, different teeth are missing. <laughs> yeah, bro, you know. What are you going to do with that big fat butt? You know, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Whatever the other Jason's. Is that the other? <laughs> that's the only other Jason's a real song I know. Oh, that's. It's not the best, is it? It doesn't sound good. Not as good as Ryan Solo. Anyway. I've also, as I was thinking about Doctor Strange in this in this show, that we're we're actually talking about a TV show, a Marvel TV show, not strictly Jason Derulo. Yeah, is he? There's infinite possibilities from that point. As in, he was going back to before he went to the ball with Rachel McAdams' character, who we we who will not be named. <laughs> Just can't be named. She won't be named. You know, it's, <laughs> you, we don't want to bring anyone down by naming her right now. So we're just going to say Rachel McAdams is very. Yeah. Own. So he's, he's ev- everything's branching off from there. That's that's correct. That's the, it. It was it was referred to as a absolute point. absolute point in time. Like, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> yeah, the what's called the ancient one is going, bro. Why can't I change this point in time, bro? It's absolute. And it's just us standing there, bro. Absolute. And he's just like, oh, oh, oh. back up, look, boys, you're back. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. So Marvel will like put us in something. Like we'll be the next watchers. Right, well, that's wild. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll strictly watch because, like, we'll be so enthralled by what's going on that we we'll, won't do anything. We'll but see watch. something crazy. Have you got? Did you see that? <laughs> Far out. And the watch is like, literally, that's what I do here. Literally, like, that's I, what I do. I'll see it all. If I had the capabilities, I would superimpose us in a background of <laughs> of the what if show, especially the one from last week where Mans was just. <laughs> He was just sitting in the back. <laughs> just in the crowd, just looking around. He was in the crowd, yeah. There was all the seats in front of him were vacant, but he's had the back. He's had the back, yeah. Because he's just watching. He's watching, bro. But so essentially, Doctor Strange, he goes on a trip similarly to what he did previously to fix his hands and to get, you know, become a doctor again. But this time, he goes in search of a way to break this absolute point in time. And the way well, to do yeah, the first the first thing he does is he goes and try and goes back. He uses the time thing, That's time right. stone, mm. and he tries to go back. And he plays all these possibilities. And every single possibility, she dies. Yeah. You know, every time he gets there, he gets to the ball. <laughs> oh yeah, oh this is great, this is fantastic. And then she gets swept by a magpie and she falls <laughs> off the, the balcony or something. <laughs> just some stupid. The best is like they're in they're in a they're like let's just you know let's just eat together. Yeah, what and then was- she's like, oh my god, my heart, and she yeah. dies. <laughs> Yeah, I was just thinking there was one that was that was so dumb. Just <laughs> like at least like have a car like smash through the thing. Like yeah, the same car from the thing. I thought someone was coming in. You know, Samuel coming in and shooting dudes. Yeah, or no, the I don't other know guy. Why Samuel would be. Doing no, that. I'm talking about that Pulp Fiction scene, but it wasn't Samuel. Right, right. I, I know what you're saying. Yeah, but yeah, Samuel yeah. was there. Samuel was there. Yeah, saying like, give my wallet back. Give my wallet back. No, but that it's, yeah. it's personalized. <laughs> Lucky it was. Because yeah. most leather wallets, like, you, you'll get stuck. If you, you're in a sea of leather wallets, you won't be able to find yours. That's right. But essentially, she keeps dying. You're yeah, right. And then he, he keeps using the time stone. He keeps using the eye of Agamotto to go back and, and nothing's changing. And the ancient one says, bro, nothing's going to change and I'm going to have to stop you if you try to do anything more. Because if you try to break this absolute time point, the world's going to collapse in on itself. But, you know, Doctor Strange, he's grief-stricken. He's in love. Or was in love. So he, he had goes, a heart, but now he doesn't. Yeah, man. By any means, he says, I'm going to get Rachel McAdams, star of the hit movie, Doctor Strange, <laughs> back into this movie. By, like this TV show, sorry. So he goes to like an ancient temple in which they're doing more. Yeah, he finds some some library of that's, that's it. something. Yeah. He finds this library where you know he can he can use these books which are which are sort of the scripture that's not allowed anymore because they they could be leading to faults in the timelines and whatnot. Yeah, he has to absorb the energy of other other heads, other beings, and tentacles and whatnot. Yeah, which is a wild scene. I thought that was yeah. that was like one of the better scenes of the show because it's just crazy Doctor Strange business going on. This whole this whole episode was just crazy Doctor Strange business. Yeah. You are correct in saying that. And that's what made this episode stand out because, one, it wasn't a, a character swap. Yeah. The other thing is that it was just, hey, let's have Doctor Strange just be absolutely mad. Like, and By mad, I mean like he's gone crazy because he's so grief-stricken. Yeah, he's crazy in love. 
I've been looking so crazy right now. You know, he's singing right. that by Beyonce. By Beyonce. Yeah. But also he's... Yeah, fix up that. He's he's also out there doing a bunch of stuff that we haven't seen before, and which is great when later on, you know, it's him versus him. Yeah, because he's all the ancient lines. one, the ancient one tried to stop him, but because she wasn't powerful enough to stop him or something, you know, she split him in two essentially. Yeah. So they were kind of I don't know I guess parallel realities within the same reality universe. I don't know. It's convoluted, they're, but it doesn't they're, matter. They're, uh, they're like branches off the absolute point. Two Something branches like off the absolute point. But when the good Doctor good doctor Strange versus the bad Doctor Strange, that scene is amazing as well. That was crazy, yeah. Because it's like the scene with when he's versing Thanos and you get first get to see all the crazy powers that Doctor Strange has. And you don't just see like the those like circular things around the his circle, hands. The orange discs. Orange discs. It's more than that. You see, you see the, them ropes. Oh, he's just yeah. shooting ropes, right? Dude, that was that was a wild fight scene, yeah. and also because it's you know you it's a superhero, so you think, oh, it's all going to be good, but it ain't going to be good. This it's, is what if this is, is what, what if, if things were not good. Yeah, he gets to the point where the watcher's like, I can't do anything. Like he's, he's yeah. He so that was to- that was when Doctor Strange, the bad Doctor Strange, consumes the good Doctor Strange. Yeah. So he's now all powerful, he can, you know, reverse this absolute point in time. And he does. He brings Rachel McAdams' character who who still will not be named. Yeah, she can't be named. She cannot be named. It'd be absurd for us to name we her. We won't do it. No. And she bring he brings her back to life and then everything's just collapsing. He's going, bro, what the hell? And the watcher's going, he's going, Dr. Strange just said, bro, are you in the back? Can you help? Look how big you are. And the best thing is the watcher's like, maybe I could help. Yeah, that was that was the worst part of the episode. Yeah. <laughs> it makes me laugh whenever he gets involved. Any time he talks yeah. is not good. Mm-hmm. I'm the watcher. I do not do anything. <laughs> I just watch things. Worst intro of any show I've ever seen. No, I don't think the intro is that bad. The intro is terrible. But I think the out, I don't know if it's the outro or like somewhere in the middle where he says, "I just watch. <laughs> I don't do nothing else." <laughs> but, but this is this is one of the parts where he's conversing with Doctor Strange, mm. and then the whole universe just collapses on itself. And I think that was wild because he was there holding Rachel McAd- McAdams's character. Yeah, very own, very own. And Doctor Strange was saying Rachel McAdams's character. I saved you, but why are you? Why is this all happening? Yeah, and and, she, and she's going, bro, this is crazy. And Doctor Strange has turned into a beast with tentacles. Oh and, my goodness! And you know, some dude who's in, really into. Don't say it. Don't bro. say it. Don't say, <laughs> don't say, it, say it, bro. Don't say it. <laughs> that's that's not even meme culture, nah, you know? Because no. like people will be like, nah, "Oh, what's that?" And they'll nah, search it up. Can't do that. Can't do that. And then they'll be thinking, Vincent, why is Vincent from the back catalog talking about this? No, nah. but he is a grotesque character, and he's like, "Look what I did!" Like you know, to, to bring you back. Little did he know that the the universe itself was going to be destroyed, and and I also think, Rachel McAdams is there saying, "Bro, get the heck away from me!" Yeah, I'm, I'm turning into goo. I'd rather turn into goo than look at you. You know, she's rhyming as well. She's rhyming. Jason's she's just like, dropping well. bars. She's doing sway in the morning, five fingers of death freestyle. <laughs> <laughs> the the uh, the other the other great thing about it is that you do get to see. Doctor Strange, once he realizes everything that he's done, once he's gone past, once he's gotten to his point. He's gone to the point of no return. He realizes that he's made the mistake. And then he also realizes that he can't do anything to stop that mistake from happening. Which, hey, you in the back. <laughs> I just watch. But I'm not even in this like place. So like, if it, if it collapses, I'm all right. I got, I got all these other fragments to go to. <laughs> but uh, the, 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 the great thing about that is you get to, you get to see that Doctor Strange is a man who, especially in this fragment of the timeline, always wanted things to go his way and always wanted to fix things and would go through by any means but would never look at the consequences. Mm. So when you look at the Doctor Strange that we got at this point, you're like, man, Doctor Strange, he's actually like a good dude. <laughs> he's, he's actually like, he's got some forethought. But, <laughs> but it also shows you how powerful he is. Yeah. Which and, I think is cool. And how powerful love is. Dude, love is more powerful than love. any other, you know. If if only they put love instead of war, there would be no war, you know. Because they'd have love instead. And he's just sitting in this little bubble of reality. 
that's that's for that. eternity. Imagine that. He's just writing Doctor Strange plus Rachel McAdams' character in a love heart on the pavement like, there. Like was here. Was here. W U Z. W U Z. And then he crosses out Rachel McAdams' character. <laughs> she it's, died. Sad face. Yeah. And died spelt with like it's just D I D. Like she did. <laughs> she did. <laughs> I don't know why he's turned into like, you know, a 12-year-old graffiti artist who hasn't really been... But she did, though. But she did, though. She did. You she thought did. she wouldn't, but she did. <laughs> now, Vincent, this is the part where I ask you whether or not or how you would cope in a time bubble that you're in for eternity. What don't, would you don't do make me space? think about. Don't make me think about that because you, you know I already think about these things too much. Right? I'm gonna... <laughs> what would you do in that space? Because uh, that's why, because you think about these things. A lot. I wanted to be like, you know, Bro, I, I, you know, it, that at that point I was going, no, nah, I can't, I can't think about this anymore. And I just watched an episode of Seinfeld, which is good because like Seinfeld is one a hilarious TV show, but also they're not really dealing with being stuck in one space for eternity, or are they? Bro, they were in that house for a while. That's not, <laughs> how, many, how many seasons is it? <laughs> Bro, they were in that house for a while. There, there wouldn't be much that you could do. No, there'd be nothing you could do. You just l- slowly you lose your your mind, which then would then you'd have some fun, at least, because you'd be seeing folk, at least. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know if you're having fun, but <laughs> well, it's better than what you were doing. You're just sitting there, or you're writing. You're writing like a story for no one to read. Like- well, why are they the two <laughs> options? Because you're either the- losing your mind or you're just writing a story. Because <laughs> he had the pencil with that he was writing the. He was the love here. Heart yeah, but there. he didn't have even good grammar. Yeah, that's true. Well, he's the only person who reads the book. This is a story of my life, Doctor Strange. <laughs> I lost my heart. Sad face. <laughs> dot dot dot. Uh, like, I'm stuck. I don't I'm know where st- to go. Not that he's stuck. Literally, he's stuck like metaphorically. You know. Oh yeah, he yeah. can't. He can't progress in in his novel. Yeah, that's right. But, I mean, he's got all eternity to write it. So. <laughs> But Vincent, did you think that this was the best episode so far? This was by far the best episode so far. This is exactly what I wanted from What If. Yeah, because this is wild. Exactly. But it also shows more sides of characters that we know already. Yeah. So I think, I mean, not necessarily that has to happen, but that I think that was a benefit to the show, to this episode. Also, I've had a revelation. Just then. Uh, previously, but I, I'd forgotten to say it. What if, you know how we were sort of saying, we're not going to do what ifs anymore. And now we're here. And now we're here doing what ifs because like we have no other content to do and we've, you know, it's only 30 minutes. So we're like, we can, we can manage that in a week, you know, but also we're going into the multiverse madness in the main part of the, of the films. You know, now there's, there's going to be a movie called multiverse madness. There's the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer. There's all the stuff going on with Wanda in the background. There's obviously the Loki variant stuff. Will some of these characters be appearing in the main Marvel Cinematic Universe? I'm just picturing they're in the the Alyssa Milano Guardians of the Galaxy, and they're flying and they're jumping through <laughs> spaces, and they see and they jump through you know different time times and parallel universes, and you just see Doctor Strange in his bubble, and he goes, "Bro, I'm still metaphorically stuck," and all you see is. My name is Doctor Strange. I lost my heart. Dot dot dot. Sad face. <laughs> I'm stuck. I've been scratching my forehead for a while. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to do. But do you think that, that that could be the reason why they're doing this? Because Marvel, they're not just whipping out content for no reason. Bro, they've got they've got plans. They got they've got oh, plans. They got plans. Hundred percent. Will this be? Will this be what we start to see later on? Is this a fragment of who? You know, or is the uh, No Way Home Doctor Strange a variant of Doctor Strange? And that's why he's doing, he's making choices with no real forethought and resulting in mm. further multiverse of madnesses. Is that why he's chasing people? What if people instead of his hands, Doctor Strange lost his forethought? What is Spider Man No Way Home? That's exactly right. Yeah, that's, that's interesting because, I mean, look, for them, as in Marvel and Disney, they should just keep churning out content because at the end of the day, a majority of people are going to enjoy whatever they put out. 
that's right. Just like comic books. There's trash comic books out there, but st- people still buy them because there's superheroes in them. And also you look at the pictures, you're like, man, these pictures are good. Yeah, yeah. someone drew these. Someone drew these with their hands. Not Doctor Strange in, in the in the regular universe, though. <laughs> at least he's got his heart, you know? <laughs> at least he's got his heart. At least it's still beat. Yeah, I'll, I'll be interested to see if if they bring out, bro, if they bring out Agent Carter. Well, that's that's the, well, they bring out, yeah, Captain Carter. I want that. I want the, that in the cinematic universe, bro. That's. Because there was rumors that that could happen. There was rumors that that could happen. Who told you? Rumors told me, Mary. Bro. You know, I was, I, was, I, was, I was scrolling through the Twitters and someone DM'd me. He's like, I see, I see you scrolling through the Twitters. Let me just shoot you this room. I'm like, who are you? And then deleted. Deleted. Yeah, Account bro. deleted. Yeah. I think it was Kevin Feige or something, but he deleted, oh. yeah. Yeah, I, I got the inside source. Feige, but the I and E was slip switched around. Yeah, so they couldn't like track him. They couldn't track him. <laughs> We've lost him. <laughs> <laughs> the FBI is there. All right, he's sending it. Di- I've lost him. I've lost him. What about this guy with the the eye and the E switch around? Don't be ridiculous. We've lost him. The trail's gone cold. Kevin would never make that mistake. <laughs> But Vincent, we've got we've got another what if episode to do. So should we just say that this is the best what if episode the best so far? What, well, yeah, that's right. We'll see what happens in the next one. Yeah. Also, this is belated because you know, bro, we got sponsorships coming, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we had to do deals, negotiations, <laughs> <laughs> we did negotiations. Man. Anyway, talk soon. Oh wait, tell them where they can find us. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you call call it. You know, we're, we're, we're going out. What's it called? Outro. Yeah, we just true. say you know, talk soon. All right, well, anyway, <laughs> we're on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, anywhere you get podcasts. We're on YouTube doing other things as well as this podcast. Mm-hmm. Patreon, we've got content there. If you, if you feel like chucking in a few dollary dues or some other currencies, whatever you want, we'll take anything, you know? Where else are we? Instagram, follow us on Instagram. I want to I wanna post more memes on Instagram. Yeah, but the memes didn't like, catch fire. Yeah, I know, but just for me and you. Okay. Well, I can send you memes that I make about us. Yeah. All right. Okay, that's good. All right. Farewell. Talk soon. <laughs> <laughs>